Greetings again from Dr. Bill White and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about a crowded class 2 division 2 case that has a deep bite and uh, I'm with the American Orthodox Society and by the way I'm also uh, board certified with the International Association of Orthodontics. Uh, thank you for tuning in and I hope you'll uh, get something from these cases and I'm going to get into this young uh, case here real quick and let's try to do this as quick as we can. This young fellow here has a class 2. It's not a very bad class 2 but we'll show it to you. The, the bite is deep. His upper teeth come down almost cover up the lower teeth up here and there straight up and down. A lot of times class 2 division 2 will be tilted uh, back further than that so it's not a, a real remarkable class 2 case but it is a good good case to show you. And his age 12 at this uh, point right here and the bite, the deep bite is down you can see the lower teeth a little bit but not very much and a very crowded situation. This is the lateral and you've got your cuspid coming in here and here's a bicuspid right in this area right there and over on this side here's a bicuspid and there's a cuspid's got to make it in there. So we're going in and expand the arches on this young man and make the facial structure a little fuller. He'll have to wear a retainer maybe a little more until uh, it gets used to that. So anyway, let's go to the uh, side view. And this is a end-to-end uh, -end motor relation. And so the uh, the bottom arch should be out somewhere like like this. And uh, that would bring these lower teeth further out to the front, but the deep bite keeps this from happening, and then we've got this big cuspid coming in in this space right there. So uh, another thing we've got, and this is an over-retained deciduous molar right in here, and so it'll have to come out and the bicuspid will come in, and that'll give this tooth a little more room to come into class one. Uh, there. So on the other side we've got the end end relation right through here. If, uh, this is an over retained deciduous tooth here in this area. The cuspid up here coming in on top of the lateral. So we'll have to bring that back. There's several things uh, wrong. Uh, you've got rotated teeth and a whole if you listed everything, it would be a lot more than that, but that's that's enough <laughs> problem for us to work work on now. We've got a bicuspid and a, a permanent cuspid right here, and these teeth are crowded over. This cuspid is down in this area right there. You've got a bicuspid, and then you have an over-retain with a second bi underneath here. And these two teeth are going after their deciduous teeth will have to go. So we look at it from the just looking in the mouth at the teeth, and you can see these same things uh, happening here. So this young man has uh, problems enough for <laughs> orthodontics to be done. In fact, he really uh, needs to have the teeth straightened. It looks like this is 1988 when we started. And uh, we got some problem here. <laughs> Get these four anterior teeth and then the cuspid. And it got one right up here. I think this may be the cuspid coming in up high uh, in that area. The bicuspids are filling in. It looks like the uh, vault is not shaped properly, so the tongue probably doesn't rest in there like it should. So down on the bottom, we've got a crowded problem here. And this is a bicuspid. There'll be a bicuspid here. This is the cuspid. 
and the bicuspid and then he's got a deciduous uh, molar here that we'll have to either take out or take off part of it to get the bicuspid to come in that area to get to get the space. You know, they're just working out the space problem is going to be a pretty good problem on this young man. Now we put a large arch wire in here to kind of expand this lower and also it is an intruding arch which will bring these lower teeth down. We don't have one up here but we really should have an intruding arch here bringing these teeth up but in that area. Let's take a look at it on the look at that from this side. He's got a, a, a flexible expanding arch in here. We're opening up this gap. You see this spring here for this uh, cuspid to come through in there. We're opening up this. He's got a spring in that area too. So we're kind of enlarging the uh, both upper and lower arches for the teeth. His facial structure can stand that and we feel like it can. And the cuspid coming in right there. All right, uh, let's go. Now we've got these two vies back here and we've got the cuspid over here. These teeth are tilted over in this direction. So we'll enlarge this. You see we've got a spring over here pushing these teeth in this direction which will close this gap and open up a space for the cuspid to erupt in over on the right side. Except that's the left there, but it, it would be the right side uh, in this case. All right, uh, now the, the deciduous second molars are in place here. And this is a long time after they should be out. So we're going to have to look at that from the x-rays. Uh, pretty seriously minded young man. And uh, this is lined up in the front now. We're doing real good. We've got these bicuspids coming in. We've got this leveled out. The bite is open now. The upper teeth that were down here, the bottom teeth went down. These went up and this lined up quite good at this point. Let's see, now we're using these little small brackets here, just a single gap, some with wings back here, the same thing. And these are the little brackets that we use most all the time, and you can do anything you want to with the bracket. It's, it's, it's uh, there, try to sell some some great brackets, you know, but uh, you can take just a small bracket with an inner space like that, and you can put more torque and tip in the arch wire where you have a greater inner bracket space in there. That's good here. So let's get on from that. Now the upper is lined up, and we've got all the teeth in place. This lined up good. Put in there the rectangular wire on that. And the lower teeth is there lined up. We don't have the wisdom teeth in there yet. But let's go back to the x ray. So we'll drop back to the 12 of 88. And he's age 13 and 2. And you can see this bicuspid is coming in like this. It's leaving the root back there and it's leaving the root here and it's eating it off it's coming coming in in this fashion coming to the front and when you have a tooth like that when the permanent tooth gets to the enamel it can't go anywhere and this tooth is strong enough it'll hold it down so you always take one of these out and try to get the root but you don't have to if you break off a little the root it will resorb <coughs> getting kind of choked up in here. We have to open this up now to get these cuspids down in place. And so we're going to eliminate these two deciduous molars and over-retain 
uh, second bicuspids. Here's the 12 year olds. And in this case, the jaws turn it up like this, so you're going to have to get the wisdom teeth to recommend removing them. I don't see one on the other side of the mouth. And this 12 year old is a little behind the one on the other side of the mouth. Okay, here we are at age 13, 11, and uh, we're working on. It looks like we've got an intruding wire on the bottom. Here you can see a little spring in there. And this wire would be down here. And you raise it up and it pulls these teeth down in this area. <coughs> and it's cocking this tooth back a little. The 12 water's coming in this wisdom tooth. And it's pushing this tooth back here. This one is pushing that back. So we'll have to slack off of that pressure there to some extent and let that come. So this is age 13 and 11 and here we are now age 15 and we've got him uh, 15 and 8 so we've stayed in here quite a while and we've got this corrected here and have those teeth out those three wisdom teeth Hopefully, and here he is later on. And his teeth are lined up good and straight. And went from that to that. He's, he's just a brush a little more and keep that gum healthy down there. But he's got a nice set of teeth, and the center is right on. The teeth are coming down in the proper place. And that's the way it was. That's the way we uh, came to. And it's 1991. And that's the way it is in 88. And there it is. And I believe that's 91. And you see how crowded that is there. And you can see the upper arch in here is has plenty of room for the teeth and everything's lined up good. So we would consider this a successful case if he will for some retention now. We don't have to enlarge this better, so I'll just show it here. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So this is lined up good. And this is a good case to finish up. We thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join our uh, group here and subscribe to the channel.